All right. Good morning, Great Ten. And we are now on the lesson three of our discussion on the physical education. And for today, we're going to discuss now the different hip hop dances. So let's start. Target objectives is to express a sense of purpose and belongingness by participation in various services and programs that will with our physical fitness. So let's define first what is the meaning of street dance. So it's street dance refers to the dance styles that have evolved outside of the dance studios. It is performed in streets, dance parties, parks, schoolyards, or in any available space, which is often improvisational and social, encouraging interaction and contact with spectators and other dancers. In addition, street dance is defined as or it refers to the dance styles that have evolved outside of the dance studios. And it's a full street dance is a collection of various similar dance moves and styles put together into some practice and regarded as the same dance. One example of this one is we have the hip hop dance. Hip hop is a cultural movement best known for its impact on music in the form of physical genre of the same name. It has its origin in the Bronx in New York City in 1970s, which is mostly among the Africans, Americans, and some influences of Latin Americans. And hip hop culture is composed of pillars such as the digging, the rapping, the break dancing, and the graffiti art. Hip hop dance, on the other hand, refers to the street dance styles primarily performed in the hip hop music or that have evolved as part of the hip hop culture, in which the hip hop music incorporates several iconic elements, most notably the digging and rapping along with the things like beatboxing, sampling, and jogging beats on the turntables. Nowadays, the hip-hop dance is quickly spread all over the world alongside Filipino music, which is largely due to the country's historical connections with the United States, where hip-hop comes from. Rap music released in the Philippines has appeared in different languages or dialects, such as the Tagalog, the Bicolano, the Chabacano, Cebuano, Ilocano, and English. In the Philippines, the first to release the mainstream of the rap albums of Francis Magalona and Andro E are some of the most influential rappers in the country. Also, world-renowned Filipino artists, Apple the Up of the Black Eyed Peas, Child Hugo, and Cassie Ventura of the Neptunes and Nerds are among the contemporary Filipino-American hip-hop artists, and the, Filip the following artists give pride to the Philippine community. In today's challenge, Preschooling and working are on the new normal, coupled with the fears of the pandemic. We must learn to cope up and face the task of adjusting the living and healthier life, despite the possible shortage of time, money, and even resources. With this, it is the best time to engage in recreational activities, to feel better, and to maintain our active social behavior. So let's define first what is the meaning of dance. So dance is one form of recreational activity that can develop our physical, mental, social, and emotional health. Dancing as a part of our lifestyle that can surely sustain our fitness, but it should be coupled with proper eating habits and weight management for a person to live in a healthy life. So what are the benefits of dance? So fitness benefits in hip-hop dancing keeps you in shape with a range of movements required for its participants and it will help you to burn off those unwanted calories. Dancing will get, get you moving as well as the offering of the highly sociable workout when you're in trouble to stay the pace of your running exercise, hip hop dancing could deal an expected method or an expected method of cross training, meaning you have the strengthening your stamina, in which to build up your muscular resistance and stamina. So aside from engaging yourselves in the different um, exercises such as the aerobic exercise, uh, strengthening exercise, flexibility exercise, the speed exercise, you can uh, you have your alternative route in which is you have your hip hop dancing. So what are the benefits? Of course, it gives you a positive outlook in life. Exercise while enjoying the dance is a great way of keeping your mind in shape and pleasures of hip-hop dancing while you're soaring around with a more positive outlook on your life. Also, it improves your cardiovascular endurance, in which it's really gaining heart pumping and fast step for workouts. So hip-hop dancing is considered as recreational. It is because of the most body parts move along with the beat. In a way, dancing affects your total well-being, health benefits of dancing improve your condition of your health, of your heart and lungs, increase your muscular strength and endurance and motor fitness, increase your aerobic fitness, and also improve your muscle tone strength. So can you ready your paper and when with you? 
and let's answer the given pre-assessment for number one. What would happen if we all need to engage in recreational activities? Is it A, it would relieve our tensions from stress and pressure? Letter B, we can find new friends. Letter C, develop our body build. Or letter D, all of the above. Number two, what do you think why hip-hop dancing is considered as recreational? Is it A, because it's done outside the studio stage? Letter B, participants gone wet and wild? Letter C, most of the body parts are moving along with the beat? Or letter D, all of the above? Question number three. What would happen if there is improper ex execution of dance steps in the hip-hop dancing? Is it A, it's nice to watch the movements? Letter B, it might cause injuries to the performer? Letter C, flexibility can be developed? Or letter D, it is structured through? Number four, what dance style is used to express the free emotions like anger and it's highly energetic? Is it A, popping? B, locking, C, cramping, or letter D, b-boying. Number five, what African-American dance from originated from the disco era in the New York City? Is it A, waking, letter B, tooting, letter C, popping, or letter D, cramping? Question number six, I recognize that I have that I have responsibilities in my community. This represents that A, health is wealth. B, no man is an island. Letter C, life is about you and me. Or letter D, my community is my home. Number seven, what form of street dance is performed impromptu in large crowds? Is it A, rave dance? B, hip hop dance? Letter C, street dance, or letter D, punk dance. Next, question number eight. What dance style is primarily performed to hip-hop music and has evolved as part of the hip-hop culture? Is it A, jazz? B, hip-hop jazz? Letter C, combination of hip-hop and ballet? Or letter D, hip-hop dance? Number nine. What fitness components are being improved when you dance? Is it A, skills-related fitness? B, health-related fitness? Letter C, flexibility? Or letter D, both A and B? Number 10, what hip-hop style is based on the technique of quickly contracting and relaxing muscles to cause a jerk in a dancer's body? Is it A, cramping? Letter B, popping? Letter C, shuffling? Or letter D, walking. Next, question number 11. What is the primary move used in locking? Is it A, rock, B, punk, C, lock, or letter D, tumbling? Number 12. What variant is incorporated in shuffling movement of a fast heel and toe action? A, arm movements, B, sway, letter C, kicks, or letter D, rolls. Number 13, what culture is created by DJing, rapping, breakdancing, and graffiti art? Is it A, hip-hop culture, B, hip-hop motion, letter C, hip-hop style, or letter D, hip-hop group? Number 14, what is one of the b-boying four movements which comprise full body spins and rotations? A. Super moves. B. Power moves. Letter C. Super spins. Or letter D. Power kicks. And lastly, for number 15, identify the type of dance style that shows a creative way of making geometric shapes forming right angle using their body parts. Is it A. Walking? Letter B. Tooting? Letter C. Shuffling? Or letter D. Popping? Now let's start now with our discussion. So for today, we're going to discuss the street and hip hop dance styles. So an example of this one is we have here the break dance. So b-boying or the break dancing is also called as the break dancing. 
It is a style of street dance and the first hip-hop dance style that originated among Black and Puerto Rican youths in the New York City during the early 1970s. A practitioner of this dance is called a b-boy, a bigger, or breaker. Although the term break dance is frequently used to refer to the dance, b-boying or breaking are the original terms. Next, we have Rida Popping. Popping was popularized by Samuel Bugalusam Sam Solomon and his crew, the Electric Bugalus. It is based on the technique of weekly contracting and relaxing muscles to cause a jerk in a dancer's body. Number three is we have Rida Locking. Locking or Camp Campbell Locking was created by Don Campbell Lock Campbell in 1969 in Los Angeles, California. It was popularized by his crew, the Lockers. Locking can be identified by its distinctive stops. It is usually performed by stopping the fast movement that you are doing, locking your body into position, holding it, and then continuing at the same speed as before. In locking, dancers hold their position longer. The lock is the primary move used in locking. It is similar to a freeze or sudden pause. A locker's dancing is characterized by frequently locking in the place and after brief freeze moving again. Next stop, we have the crumping. Crumping is a form of dancing that originated in the African American community of South Central Los Angeles, California, and is a relatively new found form of the urban black dance movement. It is free, expressive, and highly energetic. Most people paint their faces in different designs. Crumping is a dance style to release anger. It is reported that gang riots in the U.S. decreased because of the crumping style. Next is we have Rida Tooting. It is a creative way of making geometric shapes, forming right angles using your body parts. The style was originally practiced by young funk dancers. It is derived from the positions people ground during the days of the ancient Egyptians. It is the position seen in this portrait that has been adopted by dancers today, in which tooting is still a greatly respected move, and King Tooth, aka Mark Benson, is widely acclaimed for pioneering the style. Next up is we have the shuffling. The Melbourne shuffle, or also known as the rocking or simply the shuffle, is a rave and club dance originated in the late 1980s in the underground rave music scene in the Melbourne, Australia. The music movements of the dance are fast heel and toe action with a style suitable for various types of electric music. Some variants incorporate arm movements in which people who dance the shuffle are often referred to us as rockers due to the import of the popularity of the shuffling to rock music in the early 1990s. And last one is revered wawaking. Wawaking is an African-American form of the street dance originating from the 1970s, the disco era of the underground club scene in the Los Angeles in New York City. Wawaking is consists of style posing and fast synchronized arm movements to the beat of the music. Today, wawaking is a popular element of hip hop dance. So let's check if you have um, no our lesson for today. So kindly again, prepare your ball pen, pen with you and answer the given questions. Write the letter of the correct answer. Number one. What do you think why hip-hop dancing is considered as recreational? Number two, what will happen if there is improper execution of dance steps in the hip-hop dancing? Number three, what fitness components are being improved when you dance? Number four, what dance styles is used to express free emotions like anger, and it's highly energetic. Number five, I recognize that I have responsibilities in my community. It this represents that. Number six. Identify the type of dance style that shows a creative way of making geometric shapes, forming right angle using their body parts. Number seven, what would happen if we all need to engage in recreational activities? Number eight, 
What form of street dances perform in impromptu in large crowds? Number nine. What culture is created by the digging, rapping, breakdancing, and graffiti art? Number 10. What dance style is primarily performed to hip-hop music and has evolved as part of the hip-hop culture? Number 11. What hip-hop style is based on the technique of quirky, contracting, and relaxing muscles to cause a jerk in the dancer's body? Number 12. What is the primary move used in locking? Thirteen, what variant is incorporated in shuffling movements of the fast heel and toe action? Question number fourteen, what is one of the b-boy form movements in which comprise the full body spins and rotations? And lastly, number fifteen, what African American dance form originated from the disco era in New York City? All right, let's check it. your answer. For number one, letter D. For number two, letter B. Number three, letter B. Number four, letter C. Number five, letter B. Number six, letter B. Number seven, letter A. Number eight, letter C. Number nine, letter C. Number ten, letter D. Number eleven, letter B. Number twelve, letter C. Number thirteen, letter A. Number fourteen, it's letter D. And last is we have number fifteen, letter A. So if you got the score of 10 and above, congratulations. You understand our lesson for today about hip-hop dances. And for those students who got 10 and below, you need to review the following um, questions that you got mistakes and errors and to correct all the misconceptions a while ago. So I want to end our lesson for today. With the quote, dance is the joy of movement and the heart of life. And forget your troubles and dance. I hope that you learned something for today. See you on our next topic.